Hello, my name is Will Carrara, and I am the lead backend developer for OpenAT's API. When interacting with different APIs, you've probably come across endpoint parameters. In today's video, I'll be showing you where to find the different parameters that are available when using the OpenAT API. Heading over to the OpenAT API's documentation, you can click the API reference section. And if you scroll down, you're going to see the accepted parameters uh, section. Here, you'll be able to see all parameters accepted for the account subset of endpoints, the geodatabase subset of endpoints, as well as the raster subset of endpoints. So, for example, we'll see that the interval parameter is required because it has a blue check mark, and the model parameter is required because it has a blue check mark. And this is true across all different endpoints. Certain things like, say, overpass, if you're looking for daily data and you only want to return the satellite overpass scenes, that is going to default to false. So you would need to explicitly pass that if you want to just the scene overpass data when querying the raster based endpoints. Looking under, say, the raster section here, we can scroll down and we'll see the different <clears throat> endpoints. And once they load, you'll be able to see an example schema for each specific endpoints. So when I see variable, I can always check the API reference to see what variables are available for retrieval. This has been API Parameters, and I'll see you in the next one.